Welcome to the Hockey History Storyteller Podcast. This is the podcast where you can learn about past players, coaches, teams, leagues, and events. The game we know and love today was created from our past. Today's episode, Herb Carnegie, the first black star. Herb Carnegie was from Willowdale, Ontario, Canada, a suburb of Toronto. He was the fifth of seven children born in 1919 to Jamaican immigrants George and Adina Carnegie. Herb was known for his skating ability and his goal-scoring touch. He had a long career playing professionally from 1938 to 1954. Herb Carnegie is probably most known for what he was not. He was not the first hockey player to break the color barrier in the National Hockey League, although he easily could have been. Before I tell that story, let's get to know Herb, the hockey player. Herb played on the ponds in North York near Toronto. He played high school and junior hockey for the Quebec Aces. He moved on to the Quebec Senior League where he was an MVP three years in a row from 1947 to 1949. Herb won four championships in his career, two with the Timmins Buffalo Anchorites, 1941 and 1942, one with the Quebec Aces of the Quebec Senior Hockey League in 1952, and one with the Owen Sound Mercuries of the Ontario Hockey Association Senior A League in 1954. Herb played on an all-black line with Buffalo alongside his brother Ossie Carnegie and Manny McIntyre. The line had many nicknames, including the Brown Bombers, Dusky Speedsters, Dark Destroyers, Les Noirs, and the Black Aces. Herb's lifetime award list consists of the Order of Ontario, the Order of Canada, the Queen Elizabeth Diamond, and a Golden and Silver Jubilee Medal. He is in nine sports Hall of Fames across Canada and was finally inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame posthumously in 2022 after many years of petitions, editorial campaigns, and advocacy from many former NHL players. Herb was widely regarded as the best black hockey player never to play in the National Hockey League. He had flashy skills and was known as swivel hips for his ability to deke around his opponents. Con Smythe, the owner of the Toronto Maple Leaf, saw Herb play and said he would sign him immediately, if he was white. Herb did play in the New York Rangers farm system for a period of time, but ended up back in the Quebec Senior League because the pay was better. The story of Herb's NHL opportunity came in 1948 when he was 28 years old and was invited to the New York Rangers training camp. Management was highly impressed with his skills after a couple of days and offered Carnegie a $2,700 contract to play with their lowest level farm club, the Rockets, in Tacoma, Washington. Herb had just finished a stellar season in Sherbrooke in the Quebec Senior League where he tallied 127 points in 56 games. There, he earned $5,100. Herb turned down the original offer from the Rangers. They increased their offer in pay and team, $3,700 to play with the St. Paul Saints, a higher level farm club. Carnegie declined again and a third offer was presented. This time, $4,700 to play with the New Haven Ramblers of the American League, the Rangers' primary farm team. The Rangers talked about her becoming the Jackie Robinson of hockey as an additional incentive. The prestige and fame was not enough for Herb, now a father of three. His reply was direct, quote, I can't feed my family on headlines, unquote. Herb returned to Sherbrooke. Herb's career was a remarkable one indeed. His post-hockey playing life was even more remarkable. In the late 1950s, he created the Future Aces Hockey School, the first registered hockey school in Canada. The Herbert H. Carnegie Future Aces Foundation, founded in 1987, is a registered charity that fosters self-esteem and ethical behavior. The foundation focuses on youth building positive character traits that reinforce positive and inclusive behavior while encouraging youth to attain the highest level of achievement, both personally and academically, within their capabilities. The ACES acronym is multifaceted, where A means attitude, ability, action, achieve, C, cooperate, courage, confidence, E, example, empathy, education, and S, service and sportsmanship. For more information about the foundation, check out futureaces.org. 
On top of all that, in 1990, Herb Carnegie was featured in Marvel Comics' Spider-Man as he helped the web slinger fight off criminals trying to ship drugs in hockey pucks. Jean Beliveau called Herb, quote, one of the best players not to play in the NHL, unquote. Ex-NHLer Anthony Stewart said Herb, quote, paved the way for a lot of players from Tony McKegney to Val James to Mike Marson to Anson Carter to Wayne Simmons and myself, unquote. I highly recommend you watch the documentary Soul on Ice, Past, Present, and Future by Damon Kwame Mason, where Herb is interviewed in the later years of his life. Please rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast platform. Also, please share with your hockey pals. Feel free to leave a comment or email ideas for future episodes to me at HockeyStoryTeller at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter at HockeyStoryTell, Instagram, HockeyStoryTeller, and Facebook, also HockeyStoryTeller.